Uh, welcome, this is going to be as quick as possible tutorial on C Sharp, Singleton, Zinger Dot. Um, I've not seen any tutorials uh, in C Sharp doing for this, so I'm going to be as quick as I can be and as simple as possible as well. So please forgive the uh, bad naming conventions and so on. So let's start. So let's make a scene, let's call it level 1. And then we're going to attach a child node. We're going to call this button. And we call this hurt. So the purpose of singletons is that that they act like globals. So we're gonna have a health variable. We're gonna hurt that variable, and we're gonna change scene, and we're gonna carry that health over. So let's make a child node of the button and call it label. And for this, we're just gonna call this um, just health. So we we know what the label stands for. Um, we also now need to make another one. This is going to be our singleton, so let's make a, a node. It can be no TD, it doesn't really matter. Um, attach a script and let's call that globals. Also, before I do that, make sure it's a C sharp script because this is only a C sharp tutorial. Great. It's great. And let's uh, put a pub public variable in. Public. Uh, int health equals 100 just for this save, we should be okay now. Um, call node GM for game manager, I don't know. And what we're going to do with this is actually we're going to save it as a branch scene. Save. So the reason we do that is that to make this um, a global scene or node, if you will, it needs to uh, be accessed from up here in your project settings in your auto loader. So what an auto loader will do is anything that we put in here will automatically load whenever you change a scene. So no matter what you put in there, it doesn't even have to be scripts, it could be like an enemy class, it could be anything you want really. So let's um, put them in. Make sure when you add this that singleton is enabled. It should be by default, but just make sure. And then let's also do our node because it's going to be attached to this. Attached. Close, great. So we don't need this anywhere in our project, in anywhere in our project, uh, no tree. If you want to like uh, visualize it the way I do, is now no matter what, it's always here. So if we make another scene, let's uh, save this one first. Save as level one. And let's close it down, make another scene. Now automatically, it's been loaded. It's just here, you can't see it, but it is there. And let's call this level two. So for this one, I'm just gonna create, what, what do I wanna do? I wanna create a label, just so we can see what the, the, our health is. Um, let's call this health, just so we know again. Attach a script to here. Um, don't call it label for some reason. Um, it's a weird bug, so just try avoid using labels, buttons if you can, whenever you can. I'm just going to call show hurt. Great. And um, what we're going to do here is we're going to get access to the process dollar, so this will happen automatically. This. So if, you, if you're using Visual Source Safe, you can click here if you press alt uh, shift you can drag delete so let's interact with it so we're going to say globals g equals globals get node and it's going to be root so it's like roots here if you imagine it and this is sort of like a sister to level two if you want but it's going to call GM and we can kind of like reuse this as well I'm just going to do that for now and because we're in label we can use text text even because it's part of the label and we're going to do health so this is just going to keep oops don't forget to uh, convert it to a string this is going to as soon as we change the scene it's going to get our singleton it's going to retrieve the health and show it. At the moment, that'll be 100 because we're not going to check. We haven't changed it yet, so don't forget to change the script. We're going to save this. Save scene as level two. We're going to go back to level one. There it is. Whoops. And 
we're gonna also like we're gonna um, re re reduce from the singleton health. So let's attach a script to this button. Let's call it do hurt create and we're gonna say unpressed public override unpressed. Press. And press is, <coughs> is available to us because it, we're inheriting from the button. So same again, we're gonna say enables g equals enables, oops, get mode. Once again it's root I I hit copy and I didn't paste. It doesn't matter. GM. So it's it's here. And then we're gonna we're actually gonna reduce our g dot um health. Five. Normally I would display it here, but if we go back and forth between the scenes, it'll just load up health until we press the button again. So we're gonna do the same thing we did previously. Oops, and I forgot this one. That's fine, don't forget, because it won't work. And then we're gonna go label. What's it called? Label, okay. Label. L equals label get mode. And because this is a child, we can just say label. Or in C sharp, it's actually the, the name of it. In Godot, you can just say label and it all know it's a label. So this now. Um, to be honest, I could have just done that as well. Doesn't really matter for now. So yeah, copy and paste that one over so we can retrieve it. Oh my god. Um, L dot text equals G dot health to string. Save that. So we we so you can see this the singleton's been removed from the actual node, but it exists here. So let's just see make sure that's true. Don't forget to make level one as your default. And when we do her, we can see that we can interact with it. Now what we want to do is prove that you can carry over this variable to the next scene. So we're going to do that by adding the button. Button. Um, let's call it go level 2. Let's add a script. Attach script. Let's do that one. Um, Go level two, create, and then we're just do the same thing again, right? Public override word press, and then it's get tree. We're going to get the tree one. Uh, change our tree scene to res. Is it right? Yeah, and then it's down here. We're actually getting it from here, so we want this bad boy here. Level two dot t s c n. Oops, don't do that. Save it, and then let's make sure everything's working. So we're in level one. We've just got hurt. We've only got seventy five percent of the health. We made it to the end of level two. Let's go to the next scene, and we're at level two. And then you can see we've got seventy five health. Now we can go to level two, and let's just put in another button. I mean, the tutorial is basically finished. You, I'm sure you can work it out, but just for completion's sake, let's just finish it. Let's uh, go back to level one. Pardon me. And let's attach a script to this one. Go back. I don't know. And then same again. Really, I should be doing copy and paste to make this quicker, but I'm lazy. Um, get tree. Choose, oops, I've done it so many times now. Res level one dot t s c n. And don't forget to save and play. So we can we can get her. 
down to say 60, we go here, we go, oh right, we've got 60, we go back to level 1, which you can see we've still got 60, etc, etc. So that's basically the most simplest way I think you can show how a singleton works in C sharp. Um, go back to project settings. So once again, anything put in here, I would suggest you could have like a, a global, like a map, uh, I know C, C and uh, Godot Script's got a math one, but you can have your own one. Like I, I come from Game Maker, so I like place meetings, point directions, and I could make my own script and just put it in here, and I could just use it anywhere in any levels, and I'll be, I'll be safe. It's uh, pretty cool. It's a little bit complex than I think it needs to be, but anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I hope I helped you. Take care.